message to the black voter as I shake my head at the Congressional Black Caucus. This could be a very short share with me simply stating, black people, no one is going to save you. And I wish it was that easy, you know? Rather, though, it's like pulling teeth to get the average black American to listen to another average black American. If you don't have a history of having a number one hit single or a lucrative contract with a professional sports team, there's very few people who want to hear from you. Let's dig in, though. Now, let's talk about the vote. The vote. For the longest time, I've been against voting. I do not hold the belief that my ancestors died so that I could blindly vote for the next rich old white dude to help out their friends consisting of other rich old white dudes. However, I do see the benefit of voting if it is done with a purpose. I don't see black Americans voting with any unified purpose or intent other than to be able to say, if you didn't vote, then don't complain. Politics is about power and economics. Black Americans continue to lack in both areas collectively as we continue to be peddled hope for change. What's worse is that appears to be more than enough for us to keep giving Democrats votes and fight and argue with America as if we are part of the decision making shaping the country. Even more, we are consistently and constantly being urged to vote and hold politicians accountable. Notice, though, you will never get an answer when you ask, how do we hold politicians accountable? Black Americans are still going to vote Democrat as if we're a gang of crips banging on a bang gang of bloods. Black Americans have no candidate that we are financing, so threatening to keep our money isn't an option. Black Americans who vote never collectively bargain that vote to ensure our issues are dealt with. So hold them accountable how? Write them a letter wagging our finger at them? Or maybe a stern social media post to get their attention? You see how silly it sounds though? Mm -hmm. What's worse is the people, the so-called black leadership across the political spectrum who are paid to supposedly fight for us are the ones assisting with keeping us on the hamster wheel again. No one is going to save us. Now I want to talk about something I call the Sam Cooke syndrome. The change going to come is the silent and emotional mantra keeping black Americans fighting the good fight. A.K.A. getting our asses kicked. My people, there is zero evidence pointing towards any change that black Americans are seeking. Talk to me about whatever symbol or token of progress that has occurred and i just point to you numbers that show that black america is remaining in last place at just about every political and economic term not even including the slow and painful genocide that we perpetually endure and the same symbols and tokens are merely black faces mimicking ideals that conserve the status quo tell me i'm lying this is reality not hope mixed with liberal quotes to make black americans feel good yeah it's been a long time coming but black America is getting fucked by a dick on extraordinary amounts of Viagra. You ain't, you are going to wait indefinitely for that change to come. My goodness. Now this is what I call the laughingstock leadership, also known as the Congressional Black Caucus. While black American entertainers and celebrities are promoting voting and complaining about black American problems, you would think that they are the leaders of the black America or maybe themselves with their cash in resources would have their own organization for the betterment of the people. That begs the question, who and where are the leaders of black America? Now, Obama, he would seem to be a great candidate, no? But isn't it interesting how this man is a recluse until there's Democratic candidates needing votes or a black player led professional sports organization threatening to boycott the playoffs. But I'll leave Messiah Obama alone. I know he off limits. He is useless when it comes to actually solving black American issues. Now, I want to talk about this group, this collective of black leadership, the Congressional Black Caucus. I know for a fact that there are black Americans who have no idea that the CBC exists. I've talked to them. Established in 1971, though, I shouldn't have to go into detail about what the CDC should be for black America. What I will do is inform you about what has been done and talk about some details that came word from word from their own year in report from 2018, as it was the latest version. Now, here's what they done. 
criticized Republicans for the government shutdown, applauded the appointment of Senator Booker and Senator now Vice President Harris to the Judiciary Committee, introduced resolution to censure Trump for shithole comments. I want y'all to look up censure and I'm going to say this again. Introduce resolution to censure, C-E-N-S-U-R-E, Trump for shithole comments. You know, remember the shithole comments about Africa? Criticize Trump tweet on white South African farmers. Commemorated 50th anniversary of MLK assassination. Criticized Republicans tax bill. Urged HUD or HUD to live up to its fair housing mission. Now, this is what they've done. I can continue with more bullet points and some will think i'm picking on them but i actually am and rightfully so if you don't believe me you can go and look up the 2018 cbc year in report for yourself and it'll go into even more details but these people are supposed to be the real leaders they're in washington dc rubbing shoulders with the people controlling the country and my question how many commercials promoting the congressional black caucus have you seen like ever when black Americans and especially celebrities tell you to vote and hold politicians accountable, how many of them mention the CBC in holding them accountable? Now, it is the job of the individual to be informed, but there's a clear effort to keep people uninformed when it comes to certain facets of America, particularly black America. In short, no one is going to save you, black man. No one is going to save you, black woman. We must save ourselves. <clears throat> Now, I don't want to be re redundant in my solutions, but I do want to talk about the BAIO just a little bit. While America is begging the system to be fair and just, I think a strategy that has, which, which is a strategy that has proven to be futile and at this point childish. And it appears to me that black Americans don't want solutions. Rather, just talking points and show topics suffice. And as long as we can continue the good fight for those who are interested in a real solution that would actually solve problems, please go visit Black African Infrastructure Organization, also known as the BAIO, where we're trying to get together and establish our own nation state, do everything for ourselves. And for me, it seems like once the fingers are pointed back at Black America doing for ourselves, all of a sudden asses get tight all of a sudden all the excuses come in it's like well we've been under this for 400 500 years well we came from here and it's like okay we know this and if we know this when are we going to start doing something different if i know that i've been mistreated by somebody for 500 fucking years why then am i still trying to go to this same people and say please be nice my dad has a word my dad when we have certain conversations he'll say son they got a name for that is called stupid now y'all be good you hear